We're here with head coach Tanya Johnson now after the Jackets beat Georgia for the fifth straight time, 3-2 to two tonight, and comeback win for you guys, coach, and you had them all the way tonight. Well, what a great win for our kids and for our program and for Georgia Tech. Uh, you know, this is a, this is a rival that's, uh, that represents great pride, uh, and I'm just excited that we were able to get the win tonight uh, and get the win for Georgia Tech because I, I, I understand what the rivalry means to everybody. Uh, and I'm just excited that my kids were able to battle. It was a hard fought battle, which we knew it would be. Uh, and Georgia didn't go down easy. And they just kept coming back and coming back. And our kids stayed with it. They stayed poised and finished the match. Well, you guys had an 18 to 12 lead there in that third set. Saw it slip away. Georgia came back to win. But what does it say about your team to come back, win that fourth set, and go on, get the lead in the fifth set, and not give it up this time? You know, we, we've shown some great character at times throughout this season. Uh, and, and tonight was one of those times. Georgia goes up 2-1, and we just stayed poised, and that, my kids never got rattled. Uh, and I think that's what, what needs to happen in rally sport. This sport is such a sport based on momentum that uh, the momentum can change at any time. And uh, even though we were up 18-12 and they came back and they won that set, we just stayed poised and stayed in it, uh, and we started executing. And that's what you need to do to win big matches. What do you say to your team after you dropped that first set? You had a huge crowd here tonight. They got behind Georgia, and it got really loud in here. And you know to come back and win that second set and really set the tone for the rest of the night. Well, I was just waiting for us to get into some offensive rhythm so we could work our way to get back in the match. And I, I wasn't concerned, and my team didn't look concerned. And so uh, when your team doesn't look concerned, you shouldn't be concerned. And I just thought that they showed great poise in the second game. Uh, they came back and played some really, really good volleyball. We played some really good volleyball tonight. Uh, and I thought we executed on many levels. Well, looking at the stat sheet, the numbers that would stick out at you the most, obviously, Monique Meads, career-high 26 kills, and Bailey Hunter with 19. But just talk about the play of one of your freshmen and Jen Percy coming out with her career-high in eight kills tonight. Uh, you know, she's had, to, she's had to step it up really fast here in her career here at Georgia Tech, and I think she's handled the pressure pretty well. Uh, and I, I know at times she's going to struggle because she's a freshman and, and trying to adjust to the speed of the game. Uh, but I thought she did one heck of a job of just staying in, staying poised, and making big plays when we need her to make big plays. Uh, she never got rattled, uh, and she just took care of business and did what she needed to do. Well, things aren't going to get any easier for you. Your next match will be thrown right into the fire, another hostile environment, ACC opener at Clemson. And how can you build off of this weekend, a 2 and one performance, big win tonight, and take that into that all important ACC opener next week? Well, I think what's most important is, is that, you know, we enjoy this win tonight and tomorrow. And on Monday, we get back to work uh, and, and we get better at some things uh, that we need to get better at to prepare for Clemson uh, and the rest of that tournament next weekend. Well, thanks, Coach, and uh, good luck next weekend. Thank you.